My name's Ed, and I just wanted had an idea. I wanted to bounce off everybody. I got to thinking, you know, a couple things that we know is uh, the D-Wave computer was was made, and, and it does a lot of crazy stuff. Goes into other dimensions, gets information, pulls it back, and get, delivers it to us in this dimension at a quick rate if it's a big problem or whatever. And supposedly it works on a little chip inside of it that has dark matter in it, and Dark matter was a weird kind of a material that they're trying to make in the collider right now. And the thing is about dark matter is it's called, uh, I think it's called spooky motion. Uh, uh, Einstein, he couldn't figure out how when he moved one thing on the one side of the universe that it was it would move the, the thing on the other side, another dark matter piece on the other side of the universe instantaneously, and he couldn't figure it out, so he called it spooky motion, I think, something, something to that effect, anyway. So, uh, we all know that we've got these parallel un universes or whatever going on right now, so I got to thinking, what if we went and made this collider, and we put the D-Wave computer in there, which we know they did, at the same time, on these other reality, in these other realities, they did the same thing, okay? A little bit different, but the same thing. And the next reality, the same thing was done again, okay? So hear me out. So they, uh, in my opinion, I think maybe they start up, uh, kind of make a stargate of some sort in between the, the realities, and it, the collider opens up the stargate. And the D-Wave maintains the levels that they need to keep it open. So it maintains it. Now, mind you, if you turn it on in this reality, in all the other realities, it's turned on as well. Well, what if when they first turned it on and did this stuff, they didn't realize this, and whoa, instantly they're connected to all these different realities. Now they've got the opening to where they physically can be transported through the collider, but the problem is, is it's not stable, and there's too many equations, they can't keep them all straight at all at the same time. But the D-Wave comes along and solves that problem, and makes it possible for them to keep it open and maintain it. So open and closing the portals is done with the accelerator. The maintaining of keeping it open and keeping the program running so that the Stargate will stay open and, and function properly is done by using the mathematical formulas from the D-Wave. Like I said, it, it's kind of a weird thing because if you think about it, you turn on the D-Wave here in this reality, okay? You can instantly, you, you gotta remember that it's, it's turned on in all the realities at that point. So you're connected to all these realities by this computer. They've already said that they're using it for NASA's got one, and the people with the collider have one, the inventors of uh, the web, okay? So I got to thinking, well, if that is true, what I just was saying, how, if that is how it functions, and if they're using this, uh, in the, for instance, like in the search engines of Google are using a D-Wave and the, uh, and the uh, Google Maps, when we all know that it took us to the pyramids and now it doesn't, uh, I think that was because we asked a question of the D-Wave. The D-Wave didn't know not to give us the answer. It gave us the right answer. It gave us the pyramids. That's where it is originating. That was the truth. What I'm saying is, is we can use, I think, the search engines of Google and NASA and whoever else is hooked up to the D-Wave to ask the questions of the D-Wave of things that are happening in different realities. Maybe even from the reality we just came from. So it's an interesting thought. Um, you know, it's kind of... Uh, I guess, and to do it to a bunch of people that don't know what's going on, it could have been an accident or something, you know, but that's my thought, my thought is, is that, 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 that uh, they turned on the one, and unbeknownst to them, in all these parallel realities, and all these different realities, they also turned on theirs, that they had just done the exact same thing, 
and they all hook together via the D-Wave, and now they can travel back and forth and in and out. That's my idea. Check it out. I, I don't know, you know, I don't know all the mathematics of it and everything like that, but that's my idea. I just thought I'd bounce it off y'all and see what y'all thought, and uh, hey, we'll talk to you later.